Hi viewers, welcome to my channel SM Digital. This is Dr. S. Malligarjuna. I have been giving the engineering graphics lecture videos in both Tamil and English. In the previous video, Projection of Planes Part 3, I have explained the drawing procedure of a plane when it is in fourth position with the help of a problem. In this Part 4 video, you are going to learn how to draw the projections of a pentagonal plane when it is in fourth position. Before entering into this video, watch all my previous videos in projection of planes for better understanding. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, please subscribe and click the bell icon to get notified. Okay, let us move into the video. A pentagonal lamina of edge 20 mm is resting on HP with one of its corners touching it, such that the plane surface makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. The two of the base edges containing the corner on which the lamina rests make equal inclinations with HP. The edge opposite to this corner makes an angle of 45 degree with VP. Draw the projections. It is given that pentagonal lamina is kept inclined to both the planes. As it is fourth position, we have to draw the projections in three stages. In stage 1, we have to draw the simple position of the lamina. In stage 2, the surface of the lamina should be inclined to the specified reference plane. Let us check what is given in the question about surface inclination. Plane surface makes an angle of 60 degree with HP. That is, inclination is given to HP. Refer this table to find the simple position and true shape position. For inclined to HP condition, the simple position is given as parallel to HP and the true shape is obtained in top view. You know that true shape should be drawn first. So you have to draw the top view first followed by front view. Now you know that top view is a pentagon but in what orientation the top view should be drawn? There are many orientations. I will explain one by one. This pentagon is drawn by keeping its bottom edge parallel to the XY line. This pentagon is drawn by keeping its top edge parallel to the XY line. This pentagon is keeping its right edge perpendicular to the XY line. This pentagon is drawn by keeping its left edge perpendicular to the XY line. No edge of this pentagon is parallel or perpendicular to XY line. All edges are kept inclined to XY line. You have to choose any one orientation among these five. Which one fits into our condition? Let us see. It is given that the lamina is resting on HP with one of its corners touching it. So please find which pentagon has the corner on the left. But except fourth pentagon, all the other pentagons have corners on the left. Now you have to find the right orientation in the remaining four. To find this, imagine a line that connects any two corner points of the pentagon. If the imagine line is perpendicular to the XY line, then select that pentagon. The line that you imagine may be an edge of the pentagon. For example, take the first one. So here already there is an edge to connect these two corner points. So if this line or edge is perpendicular to the XY line, then we can select this polygon that is pentagon. Okay, let us check uh, one by one. Now this edge is not perpendicular to the XY line. Similarly, the second, third, fourth and fifth, all the edges are not perpendicular to the XY line. Okay, is there uh, any other line to connect the corner points? Yes, there are some more lines. You can connect this corner point and this corner point by a straight line. This is inclined to the XY line. And similarly, you can connect this corner point to this corner point by an inclined line. You can connect this corner point and this corner point by a line which is parallel to the XY line. Or you can connect this corner point and this corner point by a line. This is also inclined. Similarly, you can connect this corner point and this corner point by a line. This is also inclined. So no edge or line which connects two corner points is perpendicular to the XY line. So 
they can eliminate this pentagon so similarly the second case no edge is perpendicular to textile line similarly you can draw some more lines by connecting the corner points like this or like this or like this or like this or like this so no line is perpendicular to xy line so you can eliminate this pentagon also and coming to the third one so here when you consider this edge this edge is perpendicular to the xy line so we can consider this pentagon and the last one here no edge is parallel or perpendicular to the xy line similarly you can draw some imaginary lines for connecting to corner points but no imaginary line is perpendicular to the xy line so you can eliminate this one also the last thing left is this pentagon only it is the one that satisfy the condition mentioned before so we select this pentagon to draw as top view now i will explain how to draw a pentagon the pentagon that we selected is drawn by keeping its right edge perpendicular to the xy line in the same way you have to draw the pentagon first draw a thick vertical line with a length of 20 mm name it as c and d the included angle of a pentagon is 180 degree so from point c draw a thick line with a length of 20 mm which is inclined upward at 180 degree similarly from point b draw a thick line with a length of 20 mm which is inclined downward at 180 degree then from point a draw a thick line with a length of 20 mm which is inclined downward at 180 degree finally you can simply connect the points e and d or again draw a thick line which is inclined at 180 degree now you get a pentagon a b c d e let us see how to draw front view and top view of the pentagonal lamina draw a reference line xy based on the method described before draw a pentagon with a side length of 20 mm below the xy line no name is given to the pentagon in the question so assign a name as a b c d e to the pentagon this is the top view of the stage 1 project this pentagon vertically upwards to the xy line join the intersection points of the projectors horizontally by a thick line This is the front view of the stage 1. Now let us see how to assign a name to the front view. You get the front view when you look at the top view from here. You can see the pentagon's front corner points A, E and D. They are visible points. But the points which are straight behind the points E and D that is point B and point C are invisible. Hence the name of the lines left end should be written as a dash because here a is a visible point also the points which are in between the end points are written as e dash bracket b dash because here e is a visible point and b is an invisible point similarly the name of the lines right end should be written as d dash bracket c dash because here point d is visible and point c is invisible now let us see how to draw front view and top view in stage 2 it is given that pentagonal lamina is inclined at 60 degree to hp so rotate the non true shape that is front view of stage 1 and draw it as stage 2 front view so mark a point anywhere on the xy line next to stage 1 drawing this is the left end point of the stage 2 front view named a1 dash draw a thick line from that point which is inclined upward at 60 degree with a length equal to stage 1's front view this is the front view of stage 2 front views of both the stages are same except orientation that's why you are using the same length of first stage front view for drawing the second stage front view The other end point of this front view line is D1 dash bracket C1 dash. We have to mark one more point that is E dash B dash. So we have to mark this point in the stage 2 front view. To mark this, draw an arc with point A1 dash as center 
and a dash e dash bracket b dash as radius it cuts the inclined line at point e1 dash bracket b1 dash to draw the top view in stage 2 project the end points of stage 2's front view downwards and project the corner points of stage 1's top view to your right now these vertical projection lines and horizontal projection lines are intersecting each other and five intersection points are created that is a1 dash line and a line intersect here and create a point a1 b1 dash line and b line intersect here and create a point b1 c1 dash line and c line intersect here and create a point c1 d1 dash line and d line intersect here and create a point d1 finally e1 dash line and e line intersect here and create a point e1 join these five points by a thick line you get a top view in stage 2 the size of this pentagon is smaller than the previous pentagon that's why this pentagon is called as apparent shape now let us see how to draw the front view and the top view in stage 3 it is given that the corner on which the lamina rests make equal inclination with hp the edge opposite to this corner makes an angle of 45 degree with vp so find which corner that the lamina is used to rest yes it's a1 dash a1 dash or a1 or a all are same so it's nothing but point a so the lamina uses point a to rest on hp and the condition is the edge opposite to this corner so the opposite to this corner there is an edge c d so rotate this apparent shape that is top view of stage 2 by rotating the edge c d and draw it as stage 3 top view next to stage 2 drawing from x y line draw a thin line which is inclined downward at 45 degree now we have to keep this edge on this 45 degree line it means we are rotating this edge to 45 degree so first mark a point anywhere on this line it is named as c2 you can see that c1 and d1 lie on the same line in stage 2 top view so based on that we have to mark the points c2 and d2 on the same line so draw an arc with point c2 as center and c1 d1 as radius it cuts the inclined line at point D2. Next, draw an arc with point D2 as center and D1 E1 as radius. Similarly, draw an arc with point C2 as center and C1 E1 as radius. It cuts the previous arc at point E2. Next, draw an arc with point D2 as center and d1 a1 as radius similarly draw another arc with point c2 as center and c1 a1 as radius it cuts the previous arc at point a2 finally draw an arc with point d2 as center and d1 b1 as radius similarly draw another arc with point c2 as center and c1 b1 as radius it cuts the previous arc at point b2 join these five points by a thick line you get a top view in stage 3 to draw the front view in stage 3 project the corner points of stage 3 stop view upwards and project the end points of stage 2's front view to your right now these vertical projection lines and horizontal projection lines are intersecting each other and five intersection points are created that is a2 line intersect with a1 dash line and create a point a2 dash b2 line intersect with b1 dash line and create a point b2 dash c2 line intersect with c1 dash line and create a point c2 dash d2 line intersect with d1 dash line and create a point d2 dash and finally e2 line intersect with e1 dash line and create a point e2 dash join these five points by thick line you get a front view in stage 3 the front view and the top view 
obtained in stage 3 are the required projections of the given pentagonal lamina. Drawing is finished. You should use thick lines only for drawing the front view and the top view of all three stages. All the other lines and arcs should be drawn by thin lines. Don't forget to do dimensioning. In the next video, I will explain the fifth problem in this same position that is inclined to both the planes. If you have not subscribed the channel yet, support me by subscribing. Don't forget to click the bell icon. By doing so, you will get the notifications regularly. Also, share this video to your friends. Thank you.